my name is Pelicent Moon and welcome back to Hemicraft Season 10, Episode 4. Over the last few episodes of our journey into Season 10, we have been getting into many a shenanigan on the server and I'm absolutely loving all of the interaction. Today, I'd like to continue that trend, but in the form of a new project that, well, if successful and utilised in the way that I think, could absolutely stir up more fun between my fellow hermits. I sowed a seed to you all back in Episode 1 for a thought that I had actually right at the start of the season. And you know what? It involves this lovely little mailbox right here. Look at this. <laughs> and hey, I've got some mail in it for like the first time this season. That is absolutely brilliant. Hold on, what's this? Happy Valentine's? We got a little Valentine's Day box. What's this? I haven't got shulkers yet. Button. Well, you know what? I, I appreciate the gift. <laughs> He's giving me some mutton. Thanks, thanks for the mutton, question mark. I'm so confused. Anyway, to put it short, I would love to start up a post office mail service for everyone on the server and be a postmaster in assisting to deliver whatever mail, and yes, I mean whatever mail, that they want to send to absolutely anybody else. Now, I could do this just by myself, but as fun as that can be as it is, I think we'll have way more fun if I turn this into a company and involve some friends. More mines are better than one, and maybe some particular, you know, redstone mines may have a cool idea on ways that we can possibly implement this, uh, you know, particular service. So, you know what? Let's catch ourselves up with our neighbors, Tango and Etho. Wait, you got a stable, don't you, Pearl? Technically, yeah. If you want to stick it in with the sheep, <laughs> sheep and mules. <laughs> oh, come on, it's not a parking stable? Oh, oh it's pretty full in there, oh, actually. Yeah. Uh, oh, look, I was going to bring my horse over if it was. Nah, you get in there. <laughs> Get in there. You can fit it. I promise the sheep won't come in. I don't know if my horse is going to like these sheep and, and, and peeps. You don't... I, does your horse discriminate against sheep and horses, Ethan? I mean, <laughs> it's a little tight. I don't know what you're talking about. There's so much space in there, dude. You guys realize I have an interior, right? You don't have to sleep outside. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's, I'm a camper. I live outside. You both did that wonderfully Natural, in sync, yeah. and I'm like... I know, we're both like, quick draw, bam, bam. <laughs> Every second is more creeper spawning. Uh, that's right, that's right. Right. Who can take that risk I, going indoors? I appreciate your protection of my house. Thank you. <laughs> come inside. Come into my kitchen. Ooh, warden, warden sounds and all. I love it. Of course. Oh, you've decorated. Yeah, I've got one room oh. left. <gasps> Don't mind the first Are one. these bar stools? Yeah. Take a seat. Look Take a seat. Clever. One for each Look of you. Look at this. Wow. That's, that's pretty cool. clever. I am impressed. Thank you. Unfortunately, if only I could actually yeah, sit on it. But don't, that's that's yeah, the small details. Close enough. That's There's a little pokey in the middle, but otherwise, it's, it's pretty good. That's brilliant. I love it. The pokey in the middle. Ether. It's supposed to sit on it, not in it. Oh my gosh. I can tell this is going to be brilliant. Right. Yes. Thank, thank you for meeting me here, you both. I do appreciate yes. you taking the time yes. out of your day. You might have seen a little mailbox as you're walking in, yes? A slightly mm -hmm. empty mailbox. Mm -hmm. I made yes. that because I'm like, you know what? It'd be really cool to uh, receive some mail on the server. But you know what? It's empty 99% of the time, you know? <laughs> No yeah. one else has got mailboxes yeah. or anything like that. It's kind of hard to deliver mail when there's only one mailbox on the server, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, you can all deliver it to me, that's fine. I can take all the letters. Yeah, yeah. And nobody to deliver it. <laughs> exactly, exactly, right? So, I oh, was thinking man. I would really love to start up a postal service company. I'm just wondering if that's something that you two might be interested in helping me establish on the server and get going. You know? Absolutely. What do you, what do you, what do you think, yeah. Django? You think we could pull it off? Think could... I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I think we could do it. Yeah. yeah. I think we could manage a thing or two. Two redstone minds like yourself. Do you think we could pull some magic mm -hmm. to, to kind of do mm -hmm. something fancy? Cause I, I like, think we could, in fact. <laughs> I could do it manually, but that's not quite as fun, right? So I kind of just figured two of you smart heads would be able to, you know, yeah. make us up a yeah, little no, bit Yeah, no, I funner. see, like, you're the, you're the postmaster, the... The one so in charge of the whole operation. <laughs> yeah. Postmaster Pearl. Yes. Do you, I love do you it. want messages to be sent or do you want like items to be sent or well, like everything? Kind of everything. Although I can handle like the bigger stuff. Gosh knows what people would want to send that doesn't fit in a barrel. But mm. I could kind of cover mm -hmm. that stuff, the packages, if you will. And you guys could do like the small parcels and the letters. Yeah. Right? 
Some of the high value stuff needs a signature on, on upon delivery. That that could be your job, I think. Exactly. Right? Yeah, you see? Yeah, yeah, so that makes sense. Yeah. I like it. I could build us a little like postmaster mm. building and everything like that. Have yes. a, a place for the company to operate from. Yeah. But then, you know, sometimes you know, sometimes packages get miss get go missing, you know. No, 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 Somebody no, no, and no, uh, no, 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 head no. of the company. <laughs> <laughs> no, we will not have packages. Someone's got to take responsibility. No, we are not that company. Someone's got to so. skim 10% of the packages, too, and keep the stuff oh, inside, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, hey. It's usually the delivery guys that do that, isn't it? That's Are right, you? that's right, yeah. Now I'm worried about who I'm hiring. <laughs> oh, everything's fine, everything's fine. Yeah. No, this is exciting. I, yeah. I think we, uh, we've we got something very, very, very interesting and unique mm -hmm. to do here. It's going to be mm -hmm. interesting. I think if uh, if Etho... If, if, the, if Etho and I can pull this off, we'll be able to uh, deliver packages anywhere on the server, from anywhere on the server. Oh, Within that would seconds. be so cool. And then mailboxes would be used. Yes. That's right. That would be so ah, cool. That excites that me be, so yes. much. That would be amazing. Okay. Well, thank you. I'll have to get building a, a building in. I've got to build an yeah, office. Obviously, we need, we need a post office yeah. to start anything. Yes. All right. And you two get started on some kind of system, right? Wizardry, yes. Mm, we yeah. gotta engineer some stuff here. Some, some stuff needs to be engineerificated, uh -oh. yeah. I was Alrighty, engineerificated, Pearl. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, get, get moving, we got business to attend to. <laughs> yes, close passenger, Pearl. That's right, <laughs> get on, go on, make haste, get out of here. <laughs> get to work, get to work. <laughs> Thank you, I'll see you soon. I'll tell you that nothing makes me more excited and itching to go than working on such a promising project with some friends. Plus, more friends also kind of kicks your butt into gear. But if this does work out, I think this is going to be absolutely insane. Both of those two neighborly nuggets have absolutely some of the best redstone brains on this server. And oh my gosh, am I hyped to see what they pull out of the hat. That's with that established, that means I have to get started. And let there be no dawdling. But first, that little interaction with Tango and Etho made me realize that I haven't actually... Hello. I haven't actually shown you guys the interior of my base that I've been working on. In between the episodes, I kind of just thought I would fiddle with the interior of the house a little bit and see what I could make just as a nice casual buildy thing on the server to do. I have left this front room here that we'll decorate together at a bit of a later date with you guys. But let's kind of show you what else I've made. You walk into this little area right here. I've added an extra wall in to just kind of create a bit of a segregation. And we've got this little seating area with the kitchen. And look at the new copper door that we also have because we have, of course, those early 1.21 uh, block features. And this looks so cool. It's like a little rustic fridge instead of the usual iron one that I've been making. And I think it fits the vibe so well. We've got this block right here as the oven, which is the automatic crafter, which I have yet to implement into some redstone, but I think it's going to be absolutely amazing when I do. And then right here behind this, we have a copper bulb. And the copper bulb is actually amazing because you can put a lever on it, flick it on, break that lever, and it stays on. It's not like a redstone lamp. It doesn't need a continuous redstone pulse. So it honestly works pretty well as some lighting in here. Got my brewing stand to get me started as well, because I did pop to the nether for a little bit and get ourselves some blaze rods. I was kind of in need of some potions for a little bit there. And you know what? I have to mention, I made some little bastards. Look at these. On this server, we do have uh, an armor stand mod where we can put things on an armor stand and move the armor stand wherever we want. And I've decided to kind of trial around with that a little bit this season. So all we have is a copper rod and then just a regular armor stand with a leather slightly dyed brown hat on top. And I think it works pretty well as a seat. You know, over here, I've just added a few little cushions as a cute little decoration. And you know what? These chiseled books bookshelves look amazing as kind of like a light and fluffy wood. You know, it feels cool. Cozy. It feels squishy. I don't know what it is about it, but it looks cozy and I like it. And we've even got the ability with the armor stands to add basically smaller versions of other things we already have as blocks. I just stuck a pot onto the armor stand and chucked that in and now we've got a tiny little pot decoration where you normally wouldn't be able to put a sing singular block. And let's move upstairs, shall we? Up here we have once again a nice just little cozy sitting area nook some plants and carpet to make it feel nice and homely and then in here 
is my bedroom. Got more of those copper bowls for some lighting. I got another cat because I found another cat to tame in the wild. We got my very first set of iron gear tucked in the corner here is my little, you know, walk-in wardrobe section. Um, we're not going to talk about the frog head. Uh, and then of course, yeah, the bed. The nice little cozy bed. Not too much to say about the detailing, but I really like the kind of curved roof and window design that I have going on here to really center on the bed itself with the bold orange color choice for the sheets. Oh, and I almost forgot, I've also got this railing here, which also uses armor stands. So just an armor stand with a slab on top, and honestly, I feel like that works pretty well, and it's a little bit different than my usual lectern or trapdoor style that I typically go for. I also did add a couple of things downstairs. We now have Brian, because I needed some snow. We're not going to talk about what happened to the original Brian. Hi, Brian Jr. How you doing? It's safe here, I promise. <laughs> and I've also got this crazy little book nook to place all the books that I get while fishing. It's great, although I'm putting the useless ones in here that I don't really care about. You know what? I've fished about 1,200 times, and uh, let's just say Greg has been struggling with mending. And I, I, I don't know what problem he's having, because, I mean, pretty easy right here. Sounds like a skill issue to me. And then down here in this actual room, I've just added a okay, kind of nice little crazy crafting area with a few extra things, such as a trash can and some blast furnaces to just do what I need to do. But yeah, I'm very happy with how cozy this house is looking so far. It's real nice. Anyway, now that I've shown you around the house, it's time to get some things going. My task for this mail service that we're doing here is that I now have to build that post of a spot where people will go to pick up their postage items, inspect the mail system, and subsequently sign up to get said system installed at a location of their choice. I've been looking at inspiration for color schemes, what the building could look like, and where it could be placed. And you know what? I think we can actually bump it down right over there. Specifically this bit of land right here with that little singular tree, not, not in the distance. Right here. It is near me, but as I thought about it, I think this spot feels as though it's at least somewhat in the middle zone of where kind of everyone has plonked their early bases. And I don't want people to have to walk a huge distance to get it. So it kind of makes sense to kind of be nearby in the middle of everybody. As for the palette choice of this thing, I actually want to introduce some warped wood into my design for a bit of a bluey green male vibe. Sadly, Minecraft has not given us those stark blue wood planks yet. We've only got the, you know, the wool, the lapis, that kind of stuff. So warped is what we get and it's what I'm going to use. The only problem with that design choice is that there is a complete lack of that resource in my storage. Well, let's make some fire res potions. Bloop. Chuck on a golden hat. Make ourselves a nice bow with the 10 million I've fished up from the ocean. Oh, that'll do me just nicely. And to get ourselves some blocks. And luckily, our neighbor Tango has another portal that we can use to get there. Now, I have been told of a fairly rough location where the warped biome is. And I think they said it is towards the uh, nether fortress. That guy just despawned in front of my face. Uh, towards the nether fortress and to the right, I think. So we're just going to try and see if I can find this without falling into a pit of lava. Luckily for me, I, of course, already know where this nether fortress is because I had to come in here to get a little bit of blaze rottage. And... Uh, this area is absolutely destroyed. <laughs> Look at all the fire and blocks everywhere. Yeah, yeah, make your little screaming notion. Oh my gosh, if that actually hit it, I would have been very surprised. It's very hard to do it as an Australian on this server, did you realize? Nice, on point. And there's the fortress. But how do you go right? There's a giant wall there. Um, If we follow these compasses, do you think this will lead us to the biome? Certainly gonna lead us to our death, that's for sure. Oh, oh, I just see it. You guys probably will barely be able to see it, but it's right there. Okay, it does. You know what? You guys don't know about it yet. With the that scumpus thing I just mentioned, that's a skiz compass. Skiz is very technically minded, and he's going and place cobblestone blocks with torches that point to well, the, the next compass. So it leads you home. It's great. Figured since someone had already been here, it's probably a good shot that it went somewhere important. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't fall into a pit of lava. But I have some potions, so it's fine. Ooh, wow. Have I really finished that? I have barely walked anywhere in the nether. Are you kidding me? Well, don't mind if I do. Hello, biome. Sweet, all the wood we could possibly want. All right, let's get some of this and hopefully get out of here. I'll tell you what, this better be enough wood to do what we need to do, because if it's not, I'm going to be very sad. All I want to do is just get out of here now. But hey, if we need more, at least we know where to come. Check out our nether roof so far, by the way. All the portals have been placed up here and raised, so clearly somebody's got some 
Nether hobbage kind of plans. Intriguing. Hey, home, sweet home, successful nether journey, and we now have our warped wood. Perfect start. I think this is going to be an absolutely beautiful block to base our build around. And you know what? As pain as I am to say it, I think a really nice block to go with this as a bit of a gradient is Dark Prismarine. I'm still in the starter base phase era, like... Uh, you know, Dark Prismarine, solid choice, right? Lucky for me though, I thought about this in advance and I had asked around to see if anybody had an advice on how to get some Dark Prismarine this early in the game. Seeing as nobody yet has a Guardian farm on the server, Green actually suggested to me to go to a previously raided ocean monument and get it from there. And an absolutely wonderful and kind Jevon offered to come with me and we both actually dug out the ocean monument itself and gathered as much Dark Prismarine as we could get from it. This may not look like much, but but hopefully this should do what we need it to. And you know what? Check what it looks like as the gradient with the warped wood. Like, doesn't that pair up so nicely? I love it. A nice dark, subtle shade change and it should add a little bit of texture to our build. In terms of some other resources that we may need, also be getting some tough, a little bit of stone, a tad bit of terracotta, some sand, basalt. Yes, I know, back to the nether again, right? <laughs> Concrete, where I probably honestly should be making a concrete converter at this point. Plenty of copper for some beautifully crafted copper trapdoors that aren't totally expensive. And some generic wood bits here and there because I am completely out of it in my storage. And with those, that should be good enough to get me at least started on the post office. With all of the pieces that we now have, it's going to be time to put my head down and see what I can make with some focused building. So, I'm going to say it right here. Go get your popcorn, put your feet up, and, well... Let's get into a little bit of a time lapse. Roll it! Today shall be the day. Thank you. What's the stealing Pearl. Hey, Jim. Hey, Jim. Did you hear about the new mail service that's coming soon? Yeah. Yeah, I heard. You heard? Well, I hear they're real efficient because they finally sent your bucket of tropical fish over. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> finally! <laughs> there you go. Pearl! Sent by yours you. truly hired by the mail service. Consider that a beta test. <laughs> <laughs> you're making so many fish puns. I don't know if you're even Am trying I? to, <laughs> but it's great. You've made so many. I was not trying to, but that was It's efficient. It's a beta oh, test. Oh, yeah, the see? best. I know my slogans. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh look at this. I'm just going to barge my way <laughs> yeah, in here. Do don't mind do me. Think? Look at this. This is beautiful. Nice, right? I am so proud of you. This is fantastic. Oh, and it's organized too. Oh my gosh. Kind of, yeah, right? Oh, kind of organized. Yeah, kind of. Ooh, diamonds. Inspired by Pearlescent Moon, of course. Oh, it looks wonderful. I actually, I love the like feeling you've gone for with the underground and the, the, the water view next to it. <gasps> thank you, thank you. I think it's my Very favorite nice. storage room I've ever done. Ooh. I really like the water. You, you, you want to you wanna, you wanna see my, my, you wanna see where the post office is, Jim? So that you can sure. send all your parcels yeah. and order them. Come have a look. Sure. Look, just ignore that this is probably wow. the worst side to approach it from because it needs a bit more detailing, you know, but it's fine. It's so cute. Thank you. Is uh, I tried to be different with my style and I keep going back to kind of a similar style, but it's a bit, it's a bit nautical themed, you know? Now, so when you, when you come here, right? You're gonna come in here, there's gonna be like a little mail van in there as well, parked in the garage to deliver all your fishy parcels and everything like that. Just, uh, uh -huh. look, it's, um, it's, it's a little bit in progress. Hold on, hold on, give me a second. There we go, let's conduct some business. <laughs> I know Birch attracts you, so this is the best way to get a customer, right? Right. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so, Jim, you gonna do business with us? Can we rely on your business? You gonna, you gonna use the mail service? Are you gonna sign up for it? Are you gonna have a mailbox? Does it cost anything? How is it business? It's free! Well, almost. I guess. Kind of? 
Is it? Then it's Honestly, not really we business. haven't decided yet. It's we a service, right? You're, you're, are you serving me or am I paying you? That's a good question. We haven't worked that uh -huh. out yet. Ah? <laughs> uh -huh. You got some. You got, I got questions, Pearl. I got questions. I wasn't prepared for the 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 the. the what what's the wording when you got to do with like customer relations so quick, man? Like I haven't even you built my little have... office yet. My complaints Where's are Where's the everything. manager? I would like to speak to the manager. I have some questions. Hold on. Let me let me go see if I can find them real quick. Yeah, no, she's being real demanded. Oh, yeah, I don't know if we can really deal with her right now. So, okay, you, you get out there. You, you go, you get out. All right, all right, yeah. Sorry. Uh, sorry, the manager's not available right now. Sorry. My bad. They're taking a uh -huh. bit of a break. Yeah, I know. Sorry. All they right, they just well, asked me to show you around the place instead for now. We can deal with your, your question later when we officially open. <laughs> well, it is beautiful, Pearl. Good, good Thank decor. you. Good job. I said don't look at this part, Jim. You just gotta look at it from one side right now, okay? <laughs> it's gorgeous. <laughs> I love this. Thank you very much. Look, I'm proud of the front side. It's a lot more detailed. I want to go with like a nice, like fluffy theme. And you know what? Uh -huh. You know what you notice at the top? It's got a little like bird's nest. It's kind of hard to see from down here, but it's a bird's nest to symbolize like ah, a pigeon carrier cool. for the mail service. Got a bit of an industrial touch for the offices. Clearly the manager hasn't used them enough yet because they're still on break. And the bottom floor is <laughs> where all the parcels are going to be handled. So you can come in next week. Where'd you go? Oh, there you go. You can come in next week and uh, get, can sign up to get an automatic mailbox where you can send parcels to anybody on the server from your own home. That's amazing. Yeah, I would love to. I know, right? Heck yes. As long as it's free. Don't try and go through my windows. <laughs> That's not a door. <laughs> Honestly, I just find, wanted to find a reason to tour somebody of this place because it's a lot more fascinating showing, showing someone else through the build than me walking through it by myself and being all lonely. Yeah, I, I like it. I like all the prismarine you've used, the warp wood, the details, the post sign, the little like square bit on the top there really fits in with all the curvy bits. Oh, all the thank colors you. and different things. It's very good. It's, it's, I went for the blue theme to kind of deal with like mail, right? And then you just want a bit of red for a nice vibrant pop on the lower half of it. Now all you got to do is build a side that actually faces my base. Look, it's got a side. It's just, <laughs> it's not, it's not really fully detailed yet, you know. I, I, I want to be able to pull my boat up right uh -huh. here Ooh. And, and go on inside because I can actually get there. I didn't even think of the boats. That is a really good point. I could totally make this a little dock. Yeah. Because currently... And can connect it, easy. Yeah. Currently the path kind of just goes here. So you just face plant the wall instead and contemplate your life choices. You know, if you make, make me a little dock, a little place to dock a boat, it'd be perfect. Oh, you see, this is why I brought you along. Give me ideas. User testing. I just it, go around tapping on everything, making sure it's all uh, up to code and mm -hmm, stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Needs a safety railing right here. Very dangerous. Could drown. Oh, sorry. Well, I thought that wasn't a problem with you. I thought you could swim just fine. Well, somebody else could drown. You, Ow! you could drown. Hey, did, hey look, the safety <laughs> railing worked. Did I get bumped off? No, I'm not. I'm still on here. I'm doing just fine. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thank you for touring, Jim. I appreciate, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. you let me distract you for just a little bit to show you this place. <laughs> oh, she's gone. Where'd she go? Oh, she is. I should have known. You missed one. You wanna try that again? You, you missed you missed one, Jem. Jem, Jem, you missed one! Jem, 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 Jem! Jem, you missed one! Jem, please! This is hurting, Jem. Look, it's hurting me more than you flicking the trapdoors. Please flick it, please. You missed two, Jem. Jem. Alright, goodbye! Jem, no, Jem, you missed some! Please! Please flick them! <laughs> yeah, don't leave it like this! Jim. Let me just flick these things back right here. Oh my gosh, I'm in pain. I'm in pain. In all serious, thank you very much to Jam for letting me drag her through the post office tour. I just thought two was better than one when it comes to showing you guys what I've made so far. And hey, we finally got that tropical fish bucket delivered after what? Two and a half to three weeks? It's okay, it got back eventually. Postal service hadn't started up yet. What was I, what was a pal supposed to do, huh? Anyway, like you guys saw, I essentially have the exterior kind of completed for the post office 
building. The back, we're just going to kind of ignore that for now. I'm going to slowly plittle along with the details, but the front is looking honestly absolutely glorious. I feel like the color palette looks quite nice and pleasant to look at. And I decided to experiment a bit more with the curvy roofs this time around, which I guess kind of falls in line with my starter base, but it was just something a little bit different than the kind of usual squares that I seem to be doing lately. And there is absolutely a plenty of room inside to put all the things we could possibly need, which is the retail desk. We're going to put a sample of the actual mail system up here so people can come in and have a look at it, see how it works, what's the uh, footprint they need to kind of be wary of when it gets placed into their bases. And I also want to put a bit of like a souvenir shop in here too. We're also thinking it could be cool to maybe have a bit of a lost parcels department, but we're not too sure how that's going to work just yet, so we'll see what happens. Let's give you guys a proper view of the back as well, because I didn't really show that too well there with Gem. I think the back does look decent, but obviously lacking in many, many areas. And that's where I'm kind of probably going to go around in between episodes or maybe during an episode, I'm not too sure. And just kind of add a bit of texturing and detail to the terraforming that I've done in rough stone there. And obviously fixing up some of the baselines of the structures and adding a bit of extra detail onto the walls to really make them pop and shine. So yeah, that is the post office so far. Let me know what you guys think to it in the comments down below. I'm very much looking forward to seeing the service in action very, very soon. Hopefully starting up next week once we do the interior and start getting some hermits signed up to get in those mailboxes all prepped and ready to go. Now, typically I would probably end right here, but you know what? There is actually one clip that I haven't shown you guys today that actually happened before I even started building this building. And I feel like it would be a lot of fun to show you. Okay. A couple of days ago, Gem and Impulse were deciding to go to the end to go and pick up some Chorus flowers. Not to kill the dragon, not to go end busting or anything, simply just to get Chorus flowers. And well, I don't need Chorus flowers, but I missed my soup buddies and I felt like going on an adventure. So I delved into the end for the first time with Gem and Impulse just to get some of those. And I'm really thinking that you guys should probably see the clip for what happened there. Let's play the clip. Soup group assembled. Who's got the soup? Someone's got the soup, right? Oh, no, buddy. So we got to have soup. a new tradition, Pearl. It's no, new we're season. Eating steak we don't and carry fish things stuff. over. Oh, my gosh. Yep. Go ahead. Okay, buddy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm too wide. Those for knees these one feeling. Walk. You, you lift them up. <laughs> lift, lift. Get your knees going. Come no, on. Stop it. Stop. It. He's still getting adjusted <laughs> to being taller this season. Give him a, give him a break. <laughs> yeah, he grew yeah, a big yeah, yeah, three yeah. feet. Uh, you know, it's awkward when you hit that growth spurt and you don't know how to, how to manage your body all of a sudden. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. you, really. you remember. Yeah, I'm six foot. That was like a couple years ago for both of you, I'm sure. Okay. I look at this uh, short. <laughs> Hang on. Wait, wait, hold on. Was that a dip on rage? Yes, yeah, yeah, it yeah. was. Yep. <laughs> you butt. Okay, go ahead. It's got to be it, right? Wait, Woo! this is it? Oh! Yeah! Got it! It's down oh, here! Oh, yes! <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta take Way a plunge. Way too brave! Take a plunge, it was water, it was fine. Got an Enderman. Woo! Oh. Spicy! Oh, Watch did I die? Oh, no! Ah! No! Woo! Pearl, is that you? Ah! Yep. Oh, Pearl! Pearl, why'd you ah! do that? Uh oh! Okay, uh -oh. you good? Uh oh! Are you okay? Ah! No! 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 No, I'm not okay! You're fine! Oh, oh. No, no, I'm on a I'm not okay. Water, 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 water. Here, here, Give me a puddle. Come to me. I'm trying. I know. I'm trying to screen him. Come to me. I'm trying to screen him. Give me a second. Come on, you can do it. Keep circling. Get the water. Get the water. Get the water. Get the water. Oh, my goodness. You're fine. How close were you? Oh, heart and a half. You were pretty close, huh? Heart and a half. One more hit, you were toast. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> 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 Don't think about being so panicked. <laughs> Just said, we got it pumping. Yeah, it's a really good asleep. thing nobody panicked. It's a really good thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank <laughs> God nobody panicked. It would have been bad that. if we panicked. It would have been real bad. It would have yeah. been really bad if somebody panicked. Bad. <laughs>
<laughs> so that was a bit of a panic, but honestly, a lot of fun and worth it, even though I've got no idea what on earth I'm going to use chorus flowers or fruit for because it's not quite in my palette scheme right now. But sometimes you just get to have a bit of a laugh with friends. And hopefully our next Elven's the End isn't quite so dicey. Things to learn for next time. Anyway, though, guys, that is indeed going to be the end of the episode for today. Next week, we'll get to doing the interior on the post office and getting that service up and running with Tango and Etho. And we should finally be able to see this mail service system fully in action. Thank you very, very much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, let me know it down in the comments below. And I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.